It's 647. Let's check back in with Drew Carney this morning. He's out of the Portland RV and van show. He should be driving, but he's actually eating. Right. What are you doing, Drew? Hold up now. You don't I'm have to muddling. That. I'm muddling. What, I'm doing this wrong? Well, you know, don't break it up into a zillion pieces. Just get a little bit of the essence out of it. Soft Gentle, muddling this morning. Soft. I'm going to hand the glass yes. and the muddler over to you, Ivan Schmarter. Ivan is going to be here at the Portland Fall RV and Van Show all this weekend, starting today through Sunday. There's the show information. It is a four-day affair, 11 until 8 today, tomorrow, Saturday, 11 to 6 on Sunday. They have all the latest RVs here, the latest RV accessories. There are experts in the world of travel to help you with your RV destinations, and they have Ivan. Again, she is Ivan Schmarter. She has her own cooking show. She calls it RV Cooking Show. Now I know why they asked you to come to our show. <laughs> so I ask you, Ivan, number one, you're putting together some drinks for us this morning. The first one you made a few minutes ago is called a what? This is a ginger beer float. Tropical and delicious. A non-alcoholic drink, again, that I'm consuming at 6.45 in the morning. Oh, absolutely. Ginger beer like a root beer. Ginger beer like a root beer. I never heard ginger. of it. It's Jamaican. It's Mom. lovely. Uh, the second drink, you made one earlier, and now you're putting a second one together. I don't know if you, can walk, if you can talk and do it at the same time. If so, please do. Oh, I what is it? certainly can. This is called a purple shrub, and it's pretty simple. It's muddled basil mm -hmm. with some raspberry vinegar, some simple syrup, a little bit of raspberry on the top to make it beautiful, some club soda. We're going to stir this up just a smidge. Cool, refreshing, good, and... Drew, good for you. Let me be the judge. Well. The judge says it is delicious, Ivan. <laughs> good, good call. So I know you told me, hey, my, my, the segments or the sessions I do during the course of the RV show, or they're not all about putting together recipes. You do a lot of RV talks, letting people know how they can tackle their RV trip and, and get the most enjoyment out of it. You are a full-time RVer. 11 years. You and your husband, you once lived in Portland. That's right. And at some point you said, I don't want to live anywhere. I want to live everywhere. So now you travel the country. Absolutely. North, west, east, south, all over the place. We've been back and forth, back and forth, 11 years. It's been great. I'm wanting to know, uh, is there a place uh, in this country of ours that you said, you know, I have no desire to go there. That place probably stinks from what I can tell from afar. But you got there and you thought, it's spectacular. I didn't know. Well, we haven't found any place that stinks, but what typically happens is when we're going from point A to point B, we'll come to certain spots that we didn't know really existed, like Milledgeville, where there was a mill at the edge of the ville yes. in Georgia, and we stay a day. Then how about another day? Wow, this is great. How about another day? It's a lot of freedom, and it's a lot of fun. That is a very carefree attitude you possess. Why not? Have you ever Why been not? to Darby, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia? I haven't, but I hear I know some few people there. And I promise you this, tips. Ivan. You ever go to Darby, PA, you will not stay hitched there for long. You will keep moving on. And when we had the conversation about places you don't want to visit again, you'll say, oh, there's this place outside of Philadelphia. It's called Darby, Drew. It's terrible. I don't I think know. so. I, don't <laughs> I know think it is. So. Okay, I okay. You're a nice something. person. Uh, she, again, is Ivan Schmarter. She <laughs> has her own show. She calls it the RV Cooking Show, and she's going to bring it to you live in person at this fall RV and van show in Portland. I don't know if you heard this year's jingle. No. Hey, Matt, yeah, it goes like this. No. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Got to bring it. Portland Fall RV and Pan Show. Wow. Check it out this weekend, guys. Back to you. Cheers. Wow. He should copyright Cheers. that or something. <laughs> to the shrub. I don't think there's going to be any rush to beat him to it. Portland Fall RV and Pan Show. <laughs> Listen to it.